one hour block of tsunami bumpers. Nostalgia boner. All right, um, this is the middle of the cook and I wasn't gonna do it, but someone was supposed to come and they didn't come. So it's like, all right, I might as well do it. So mac and cheese, just it's, this might be the best solution ever for Z cooks that are so fucking long. Here's the pasta that's boiling right now. It's a giant brand, which is like ShopRite brand, but it's fancy looking, ooh. We're making mac and cheese, as the title would have probably indicated. And I had a half an onion, which I cut up, and I'm sauteing on low heat with, um, I'll shut that off now. Olive oil and butter. Obviously carry gold until I get my hands on that crazy good butter. Uh, and I put a lot of butter in there because it's gonna act, this is the base of the cheese sauce for the macaroni. And I just scraped, where did my cousin's hot sauce go? This is a uh, Jay's blend that he has made for him, which is a hot sauce made of like colored, like green and red peppers. And then there's other things that's really good. And I leave it in the freezer and I could scrape it out like ice cream and it just, mm. But now I gotta start melting some cheeses. So I lower that even more. And there's gonna be, what, three cheese? I got mozzarella, I got sharp cheddar, and I've got just plain old disgusting American. So I'm just gonna lay some disgusting American in here. Now, it's only a 12 ounce package of pasta, so obviously I need like a pound and a half of cheese to make it correct. Come on. There's one. I just want to, I just want to sort of give the cheese a chance to melt before I throw the yeah, milk on there. When someone asked me, why do you keep your cheese in the free freezer? Like, like that was a bad thing. Freezer cheese is the best, because I bought this probably three months ago. And it just never goes bad, and I just use it slowly every time I need it. Just like that Cheddar Jack. And this is the, uh, where do I get this? This is the Galbani Whole Milk Low Moisture. Oh my god. I'm gonna dent my pan. I guess there's enough loose in here. You can see the cold of the cheese has taken the sizzle out of the butter which is probably good oh my god there's boulders in here I just need to oh 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 that was cold should be it. You don't want to add too much mozzarella because it'll just get super gummy. I could make it four cheese if I grate some Parmesan in there. And of course I'm using my towel here, so let's... Who doesn't want four cheese? Oh, it means we gotta test our pasta. Yeah, we're close. Should fit it in this. Yes! It's an odd pasta. I've never cooked this style before. I don't even know where to blow it. A little longer. A little longer. So now I'm getting down to this before I cut into that new piece. So it's like. Ah! Uh, how much of my finger do I want to add to this dish? And then I get to officially title this four cheese mac and cheese now. And I do want... This is suicide. A very, very painful suicide. Oh! Killed himself with a cheese grater, your honor. That does not count as suicide. All right, what I'm gonna do now, put that back in there.
I'm not gonna close that so it lets a little moisture out. Get the milk out. Big O. I don't think I watched Big O. With my little baby. You gotta get a razor blade. You gotta slice the garlic real thin. You slice that garlic good. All right. I guarantee these won't melt, so I'm gonna have occasional chunks. Of wonderful. More heat. Almost ready for that. I want this to melt a little more. I didn't. I, I took too much. I tell you, this is an exponential logarithmic gain on this thing. Four is not half of eight. Four is one fifteenth of eight. Mm. There's butter and oil and cheese and more cheese and just so much cheese. I don't want to get this too hot where the cheese actually like sticks. Yeah, I can feel it now. Not bad. Try to do a 50-50 with, with cold water. Don't melt your pipes, people. If you have PVC, that is important. Hell, even if you have cast iron, you don't want them hitting 212. I should probably go off. Am I done with this? I'm probably gonna mix the pasta in that. Roast beef today. You know what? Put this away. It's defrosted enough. I have these downloaded for a decade. It's fucked up. Why was I made? Who made me? And what did they make me for? You're going to go through this space with your old man or not? Maybe I'll never get over this. I've lived my life following my dreams. And I don't have any regrets. A little more heat. We got to get this. Just keep running away. I'm not running. I'm pretty sure my friends who aren't into anime just never watched Tsunami. Like I was prime time Tsunami age. Don't stop moving it or you'll have problems. this back down because we've already achieved basically as good a mix as we're gonna get got a little bit of wateriness on top from the oil not combining that's fine level stories ah oh! mad rhetoric I will link in the description a good copy of mad rhetoric that one's my favorite it will merely change. I think that's nice and combined and melted. Operation of the system. Starch never hurt nobody. Cut 
Come on. Oh man. Nerd gasm. Just an hour long block of this in the background. I'll link this block and I'll link just mad rhetoric. So it needs to be seen. I don't think I need any more milk. I usually like to drink my macaroni and cheese. I don't know if you've ever been one of those people. Like at the end it has to be like cereal where I have just milk at the bottom, but it's actually cheesy milk. And it's like, oh, I can't wait to drink that cheesy milk. Oh yeah. Posture is not even logical. Tokyo. Early, mid 2000s fucking tsunami. Actually, no, late 90s, early 2000s tsunami. Nothing better on earth. Eat this with a spoon because I dirtied it and I don't feel like dirtying another fork. Pardon our dust, it's gonna do it all. That's not bad. Mm. I just found a hunk of, Parma of Romano cheese. It was quite pleasurable and soft. Little red pepper. Put some hair on them balls. Mm.